How's it going, you guys? Mr. Pike again. If you notice, the background is still the same. I'm just making more videos in one day. Uh, all right. So again, please remember, as you go through this, you can rewind. You can try these problems. You can pause the video. So please pause the video as we come up to a new problem, so that way you can try it. See if you're getting the right idea. If you're not, and you still have questions, please, please, please let me know. Um, all right. So next thing we're going to be talking about, I don't know why these didn't come out, but we're going to be talking about matrices and solving systems of equations. They make solving systems of equations like a breeze in the park. Uh, so remember those systems that we were setting up in the last video? Uh, it's going to make solving these a lot, lot, lot faster. Uh, so what a matrix is uh, came around in the 1400s, 1500s, I can't remember. Uh, but these are all matrices. Matrices are measured by how many rows it has and how many columns it has. So a matrix is always rows by columns is how they are denoted. So the size of this matrix, since it has two rows and two columns, is a two by two matrix. This one, it has one, two rows, so it's a two by one, two, three columns. This one is a one, two, three row by two columns. Okay, so it's just however many rows by columns it has. Um, we can do all sorts of different math with matrices, so like Gaussian elimination. There's, there's a lot of things. There's a whole course in college about it uh, that's called linear algebra. So if you be, are planning on becoming a math major, you'll learn like infinitely more than you're going to learn in this video about matrices. Uh, but for, for us right now in Algebra 2, it makes uh, solving systems of equations like super, uber, duper, incredibly easy. I, I, promise you. Uh, remember in Algebra 1 how you had to use like substitution, elimination, we're going to do some graphing too, uh, but you had to use those three things to like help you solve systems of equations. There's also matrices. So let's, let's just like set up some matrices and see how that works. Now to represent the equation as a system, sorry, the matrix as a uh, <sighs> Words. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, write a matrix to represent each system of equations. So in order to use a matrix, we kind of, I kind of view it as this. And then there's also that line right there. But I just take these numbers, as long as all of the x and y's are on the same side of the equation, and they are in a perfect line with each other, and we have it equals to just whatever our numbers are, I can just take those numbers, so negative 4, 6, 12, 13, negative 9, 33, and that is my matrix. Now I'll show you in a minute how we use this. Uh, so likewise, setting up a system of equations with part B here. Again, pause the video. Feel free to try this. Uh, again, what I look for though, the very first thing I look for is I make sure my variables are right in, uh, right in line with each other. So notice here in this second one, I have 8B minus 6A, so I have my A and B right there, and B and A. I want to actually reorder this such that this is negative 6A plus 8B. Okay, so now that I have that, now I can write the uh, matrix that is represented so that I would have 7, 4, 19, and then negative 6, 8, 31. That would be my matrix. So again, it's super important to make sure that the variables are all in the line before we actually write our matrix. Uh, we can do matrices of any size. Uh, so this one, notice we have one, two, three variables. We have three equations. So still, all of the x's are together, all of the y's are together, all of the z's are together, all of the numbers are together, and it's equal to the numbers. That's really the first thing I look for. If we have all of that, and it's all in good order, then I just write my matrix exactly as I see. So it'll take a second to write it, unless I'm like super duper fast. Pew! Oh, I am. <laughs> uh, then we have 7, negative 2, 3, 9. 7, negative 2, 3, 9. 8, 4, negative 12, 19. 8, 4, negative 12, 19. 7, 7, 7, 3, 43. 7, 7, 7, 3, 43. Right? That's all our matrix is. So I'm going to take a second. Uh, go ahead and pause your video. Try part D on yourself. Uh, but notice about this one. We are missing a B in the second one. So think about what number you would write for like a missing B. Uh, and notice we're missing A in the first one. So like if you don't have something, think about what, what number represents nothing. All right, try it out. So if you're missing a number, or if you're missing a variable rather, uh, so you had 6A plus 0Bs minus 4Cs plus equals 19. So if we're missing something, I just put in a 0 to represent that missing term. Uh, that's it. So if 
Uh, we have everything in the first equation. All of my A's are together, my B's are together, my C's are together, and my numbers are together. So I just make sure that they stay all in the same columns, and I'm good to go. Now let's actually like look at how we're going to be solving with these things. Uh, so these are super useful if you guys have a TI-83, TI-84, uh, anything like that. Uh, I would highly suggest you guys get one, especially if you're going to be going into pre-calculus and calculus uh, and anywhere beyond that. It's going to be super helpful to have one of these calculators because a lot of the uh, upper level courses are going to be using uh, applications in these calculators that are going to become super, super, super helpful for you guys. Uh, if you don't have a TI-8384, uh, let me know and I will uh, set up a Zoom session with you and I will talk to you about what our options are because there are online resources that will help you solve the matrices as well. All right, so here are your steps. I will walk you through these steps as we go through a problem as well. Uh, so don't be concerned about like, you don't have to like write this down or anything. You're going to get used to it as you practice. This is a super, super, super simple process to follow. All right, so first thing we're going to do, looking at these, it says using matrices, solve the following systems of equations. So again, make sure your x's are in a row. Make sure your y's are in a row. Make sure it equals your numbers. So since we have that, I can go ahead and say this is the matrix 2, 6, negative 17, negative 3, negative 4, 8. So there is my matrix. So the next thing I'm going to do is go into my handy-dandy TI-84. And I'm going to go to matrix. Now matrix is right above our x to the negative 1, our inverse button is what that actually is. So I'm going to hit second since it's in blue, and I'm going to go to matrix. And then it brings up all these different names. But what I need to do is I need to actually edit what my matrix is. So all I did there is I just pressed the left button here. Uh, <laughs> my calculator farted. <laughs> uh, press the left button so that I can go to edit this. So now, notice it has one by one right now. We know we have two rows, three columns, so we need a two by three matrix. Even if you get this wrong and you forget what it's called and what it is, uh, if you tried to do a three by two, notice how it looks completely different from what we have written on our paper. So as long as you do it right on your paper, it'll kind of, you, it'll match up. You'll have a check for yourself. All right, but we're doing a two by three, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the numbers that I see exactly in the order that I see them, uh, except for that one apparently. Uh, so I have 2, 6, negative 17, negative 3, negative 4, 8. So all of that is the same. So now what I'm going to do is I quit back to my main screen. So from that edit screen, I hit second. And then notice you have a quit button right here. Right there, it's above mode. So if I go back to the main screen, now I'm going to actually go back to matrix again. And we want to do some math with it. Now what you want to do is you want to do the reduced row echelon form. Uh, that's what it is called. Uh, RREF is what you're looking for. So we're going to do reduced row echelon form of our matrix that we just named. So when I did matrix, I just selected one. So I just picked one and I pressed enter. So once we have there, you can press enter again and it does all the math for you. It's done. It did. It solved the whole thing. So what this is saying now, notice in our uh, system of equations that we had, the x's came first. So this is saying 1x equals 2. The y's came second. So 1y equals negative 3.5. So all you have to do now is say x equals 2, y equals negative 3.5. We could also write this as an ordered pair of negative 2, negative 3.5. That is how I prefer to see it, but you could see it any of these ways. All right, moving on. So with part B here, notice our A's and B's are not right in a line. So I'm going to rewrite this second equation such that I have 12A plus 14B equals that 122. So now I have my matrix, negative 7, 6, negative 205, 12, 14, 1, 2, 2. All right, so that was my A's, that was my B's, and my numbers. So I'm going to go back to matrix, and I'm going to edit. So now I still want a 2 by 3, so I'll put in the matrix I see. Uh, 2 by 3, negative 7, 6, negative 205, 12, 14, 1, 2, 2. And then again, I'm going to hit quit, so I will go back to my main screen. And then I'm going to do some math with my matrix. Go over to math, and I want to choose reduced row echelon form. Uh, 
and then choose my matrix that I want to do it with, and it will tell me what my variables equal. So they're ugly numbers, which is even nicer that we didn't have to do it by hand, because that will mean that we have 21.19 comma negative 9.45. And again, I'll write that as an ordered pair where it has a comma b. You could also say a equals 21.19, and b equals negative 9.45, and you are golden. That's really all we're doing for this stuff. Matrices are awesome. I love them. All right, going on to the last one. So again, notice, just like we saw with our other one that we've done before, we're missing some variables in our last two equations. And our second equation looks like we're missing a y, and our last equation looks like we're missing a z. So just put in zeros whenever you write your matrix. So it looks like I have 7, 3, negative 3, 56, negative 2, no y's, 3, negative 17, negative 12, 12, no z's, and negative 104. So now this matrix is a three row by four column. So when I go to edit my matrices, uh, I'm going to make sure that I change that top to say three rows by four columns. Notice there's a little arrow right here, or a little line. All that line indicates is there is more off to the side. So just keep pressing over. Uh, so here we have 7, 3, negative 3, 56, negative 2, 0, 3, negative 17, uh, negative 12, 12, negative 104. All right, so I quit back to my main screen. Now I'm going to do math, reduced row echelon form of my matrix A, and there are my solutions. Easy money. So I'll just copy those solutions. Uh, and for ordered pairs, if we have more than three things, it just goes in alphabetical order as to what the three things are. So x comes before y, comes before z. So I will write these as 7.36.74 and negative 0.76. And that's just copying exactly what my calculator is telling me those things are. All right, again, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, please, 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 you're going through. Let me know what questions you have. Here's a uh, monkey to help support your learning because I know he's dancing for you. He's having a good time and wishing you guys best of luck. Please, 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 email me anytime. Let me know how I can help you guys out. All right, I'll talk to you all soon. Boop.